Okay, well after having the um, movement plate in the uh, cleaning solution, it really has made almost no difference to this. I mean, you can see still the, you can still see these white, um, I believe it's the lacquer or something. You can still see that on the uh, movement plate. And you can also see it on the other pieces of it as well, which have been uh, tested in our uh, solution here. As you know, to start off with, it was just this going into our uh, solution for 15, 15 minutes or whatever it was. And then uh, I tried it for 30 and then I tried all those for 30 and it has made almost no difference. I was reading on the NAWCC forums a few months ago about uh, homebrew cleaning solutions and acetone came up and it was stated that the acetone was very aggressive and uh, I don't know what else it was. Pretty sure it was just an extremely aggressive cleaning solution to use and it was not recommended. Well, what if, here's a, here's a theory, we need an aggressive cleaning solution. I mean, this, this, this stuff here isn't getting this all off yet. So, what if we just put it in for 10 minutes with acetone? What if we put these parts in for something like 10 minutes with acetone? Like, 10, 5 minutes, I don't know, I'll start with 5, but uh, we'll probably need 10. Actually, you know what, thinking about it, we'll start with 10, and we'll see where we go. I don't know, it's an idea, and I think I'll, I think it's worth the test. You know, I might as well, I mean, isn't that what we all want, a fast-acting cleaning solution? So we'll take our Murphy's oil soap, acetone, and water out of the picture for now, and we'll just try it 10 minutes of acetone, and we'll see what we get. So in it goes, and, uh... Maybe that shouldn't have been quite as hard as I did. You know, I, don't, I think I probably could have done that a little bit better. Okay, our part is in. Let's, ta let's uh, try 10 straight minutes of acetone. 10 minutes of being in the acetone. There's still a little bit of that lacquer stuff around here. You see that? I think that's what that is. Hmm. Man, oh man, is it such a pain to make your own claw cleaning solution. Actually, I shouldn't say any of this yet because we don't entirely know if it did work. I mean, maybe there's a bit of that lacquer kind of dusty looking stuff here and there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's also, what I've noticed is you can only see it in certain lighting. Like here you can't really see it. Over here you can. Is it, well, is it real? <laughs> Because if you can't see it over here, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we'll see what um. Uh, well, we'll see what we get out of this. It seems the acetone, well, didn't turn the brass pink, which it said it would. But then again, it was only in there for ten minutes. That's not very long. Who knows? Maybe I have to try thirty. That may be a bit of a stretch. I don't know. More experimentation here is needed, and hopefully it'll ruin this. Well, there it doesn't look too bad. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm almost struggling to tell here what's, what's what on this. You know, it seems to be almost more apparent down through camera. I don't know. See, if I have it like this... You'd think this would be the dust over here. Well, I keep calling it dust, but it's just lacquer. It's leftover dirt, and you can see some over here. And then you go like that, and you can't see it. Very, very interesting, viewers. And then when there's a whole bunch of light on the... Oh, well, maybe that's it right there. I, mean, I think that might be some there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of... Okay, I'm going to let this piece... Uh, well, I think it actually already is dry. I don't, the acetone doesn't seem to have left any any of itself on this. I just pulled this thing out of there, so I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Who knows, maybe I should stop when I'm ahead, which, but I don't know if I'm ahead or not. I know um, you don't see clock movements generally looking this dull when they come out when they've just been, literally just been cleaned, and you don't see kind of, well, it looks like a highly polished piece of brass, which this doesn't. But I guess really when you clean a movement, 
all you really want out of it is just to get all the um, dirt and grime off of it, which I believe this has done, but I don't know if this, like uh, this lacquer kind of stuff here, I don't know if that counts as dirt and grime. Just because of the, um, the fact that it seems to be so um, elusive, if you know what I mean. I mean, you only can really see it at certain angles, and then again, I don't know if it's like just there because of age or, or what's going on. I don't know. More experimentation is needed. We'll leave it, we'll leave it uh, here for now.